Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to get you some important love messages that you need to hear today. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 2nd of April 2023. Time here in Milan. Italy is 3.08 p.m. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages that Gemini need to hear today. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. And this reading may resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. A lot of details in this reading that may or may not resonate with you from the beginning till the end, so just take what resonates with you, okay? The world in reverse at the bottom of the deck, okay? <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, Gemini. I had a really bad experience with a Gemini man recently, and... He's a low vibe Gemini. So I'm hoping my Geminis here who are watching um, that they are high vibe Geminis. Okay. <laughs> but it was uh, a little bit scary. Yeah? Um, dealing with this male low vibe Gemini because um, he could have actually killed me, to be honest. I'll tell you the story in a bit, okay? But let's look at your cards right here. We got the two of wands here up first, the Queen of Cups, and we've got these six of swords. This is someone either he or she lives far away from you, or that this is someone that may have made a decision to have to walk away from you unless roles are being reversed here gemini unless you are embodying the queen of cups so there is someone you've walked away from that i feel maybe this person with the hangman here has been thinking reflecting over what had happened right between the two of you here the two of wands here in reverse it's like it feels like I've already made up my mind, but now I'm rethinking if I've already made up, if if whatever I've made up my mind upon, was it the right choice? Was it the right decision? So Ace of Pentacles in verse, yeah, on the same row as the hangman here, it makes me feel as though this person could be wandering, right? Or you could be wandering again, could go vice versa. Like, could this have been something? Could this have been something more? Could this connection have taken off, right? Could it have been something really, really good? It's a reverse. So it's like this pondering energy. Someone could be pondering whether if both of you could have had a good future together, a sustainable connection, would both of you have been a good pair, right? Unless it's you thinking about that. We've got the moon here in my first. So trying to find some answers. That's what I'm getting here. So this person will be looking for some answers within themselves in their own head here, right? Because the head is lighted with the hangman. So, But for some of you, Gemini, you could just be like, hey, I'm going to take a break from socializing or from dating. I'm going to take a break because it's just way too much drama with the five of wands here and five of swords. Too much mind games, too much. It just, it feels like there's too much sacrifice as well because the hangman can indicate um, you having to sacrifice a lot of things whenever, or sacrifice a lot of yourself for relationships whenever you are in a relationship with someone, right? So I feel like for a lot of you, Gemini, you may be thinking, you know, oh, I just want to be alone for now. Because <clears throat> I know it takes a lot to be in a relationship. So there's a break I'm seeing here, a pause energy. I'm just going to take a break from love. Or for some of you, it could be you taking a break from someone in particular right here, Queen of Cups. 
Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Six of Swords, just try to kind of move on from the issue or move on from the environment, move away from the environment. So I'm going to tell you the story, Gemini. <laughs> so this Gemini male, um, I met him not long ago. It's <laughs> story time. And um, from the very beginning, when me and my friend met him, we sensed something was really off with him, as in how he would be so happy, so nice, and then suddenly his mood just changes out of nowhere and it kind of freaked us out a little bit okay but um but he was gorgeous a lot of gemini's are gorgeous okay gemini men <laughs> um even women too i have a few of my gemini uh friends who are women and they are you know absolutely beautiful they're gorgeous um so he was really gorgeous and he was really he showed a lot of interest in me like he was interested in me and my friend kept telling me chelsea don't even don't even think about it <laughs> um she said don't even think about it he he's kind of weird it looks like he has two different personalities which is common among gemini's right but i've never dealt with any gemini men in my whole life and this that was my first encounter so he has this mood swings that was kind of scary anyway um so because the reason why not because this gemini reading but the six of swords if you guys have been following me <laughs> on my social media or uh if you've been listening to what little little snippets of stories that i tell you where i'm at i'm in italy right now and i was living on a boat and this Gemini guy it was a deckhand. Um, the captain was, you know, the captain was the one who was like trying to hook us up. But my friend who was with me and she kept saying, my Malaysian friend, she kept saying, no, bad idea. He's dangerous. Did you see how he just flipped? Did you see how he just switched like that out of nowhere and became really super angry and was very offensive? were very, very rude, uh, said something about my friend's religion and my friend is a Muslim. So, And he said a lot of very mean things So, and said it with so much passion and so much anger. But anyway, he was so gorgeous, right? And he was trying to be so nice to me, um, like doing really nice things to me. But at the back of my mind, I was like, my friend telling me, be careful, be careful, like, he can be dangerous, and true enough, well, we had a little bit of a uh, disagreement, and he, it just, he, he just, like, exploded, it's like the same thing, how he just switched from super nice to something, like, scary, and um, he was very aggressive, and there were just two of us on this boat. He almost pushed me off the boat. <laughs> I'm laughing about it right now. Like, I was like, I should have listened to my friend and to my intuition, you know. Intuitively, I knew. Look at the Queen of Cups right here. Queen of Cups is somebody highly intuitive. And um, my intuition was telling me something was wrong with him as well. But, you know, I gave him a benefit of a doubt. And he was being so kind to me throughout and I thought you know give him a chance but then mm, big mistake <laughs> I'm not saying this to uh, Gemini I'm just sharing a story sometimes I do story time in my reading so sometimes I don't do it very often but anyway five of cups is right here Gemini four wands the world in my verse so there's this energy of disappointments regrets so I do see Gemini, someone here is regretting over something they have done or something they have said. And there's this pondering energy again, like, could should I have said something differently? Should I have made a different choice? Could this connection could have been a good one? So a sense of regret, maybe this person is regretting over 
what they have said or what they have done, right? Definitely an energy of like, maybe I should have done things differently unless roles are being reversed here. And we've got the four wands and the world and world first. See, this energy of like, what could have been for this relationship? What could have this connection? I feel like this person could be thinking, maybe this connection could have been a really good one, right? Could have been a stable one, could have been a happy one. The ace of pen, uh, four wands and reverse, like, but what happened, right? Not being on the same page, three of cups, five of wands and reverse, arguments, um, five of swords, mind, mind, ga mind game playing, or one person wants to up the other, right? Ten of wands here in reverse indicates like giving up. So there's an energy of someone feeling like, giving up on this connection or has already given up on this connection because maybe there's just way too much drama, just not getting along or somebody. You know, five of swords can get deception as well. So very, dis um, or an energy where, you know, both wants either you, you want to one up your person or your person wants to one up you. It could be any of this. Uh, it could be you or this person or both of you. Okay. Pull out a few of these romance angels here. We've got love yourself first. Okay, so spirits could be encouraging you to love yourself first. And maybe this is why you are doing the hangman here, right? Wanting to be alone, wanting to just pay attention to yourself and um, not giving any energy to anybody that doesn't deserve your highest good. And let's see, new love. So some of you, this could be that new love, that new person, that, you know, that new connection that didn't pan out. You could be thinking about that, or this person could be thinking about you, and this it's it's a new new person, okay? A separation, so you're separated from this person. Let your friends help you, healing family issues. I don't know whether it's you or this person, again, it could go vice versa, but healing and recovery is very important at this point in time, especially if you're going through a separation, and perhaps some, spending some time with your friends, for those of you, you know, sometimes a hangman, hang, it's like hanging, right? Could indicate um, S-U-I-C-I-D-E, okay? So for those of you, if you feel really, really down and you feel like, you know, that you're done with life, uh, spirits, is, uh, spirits are encouraging you to seek for help, okay? Only for those of you, if you feel so down, you feel defeated, you feel you're unhappy, disappointed, sad, um, to a point where, you know, that you want to end something, okay? And your L-I-F-E is saying to go seek for help, okay? That you need to love yourself first. Maybe the new love can indicate, maybe there's someone new, someone new coming in for you. And if you were to end it so quickly, then you may not ever meet this new person. And healing and recovery is very, very important before you embark into a new journey or new love, embark into a new relationship, okay? Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Gemini. This is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Kindly um, subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0. And also, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos. All right, take care, Gemini. I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.